prepared in advance. So as our holiday President's Day Monday, we are recording another Love What You Do. Again, I'm showing you the chat because uh, we're gonna ask Kaylee to put this chat uh, link into our Facebook group as well about one of the documents we're providing in today's message. Uh, so today we are going to be talking about, as always, loving what we do and loving it even greater and how you own your leadership, how you're purposeful about finding the accurate evidence and walking your truck so you truly do love what you do again. And today we have set it up specifically to have a conversation. I love her uh, visual, her little, uh, always enjoy your graphics, Miss Haley. <laughs> the building advocates or the true leaders as we like to call it. And again, as I shared in the Possibility Monday video this week, advocates are all about individuals that when they hear of a information, they're gonna stand by your side and they're going to provide an opportunity to introduce you to somebody. Oh, and we've got Mr. DeSena coming in again. Uh, it looks like we've got a system coming in there. <laughs> and then we've got also, a person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy, which is another definition. And it is an opportunity to build and attract as well as share advocates. So one of the things that we want to discuss is in finding advocates for your business, who would know about your business, who actually does know your business, who enjoys your presence, who has seen success through your services. These are all possible advocates. These are all, if there are not already your advocates, these are people to have conversations with about your advocates. And advocates are two-sided. So not only do you want them to know about your business, you wanna know about their business. You wanna know that you can enjoy their presence. So you want to share their presence. And you also wanna know that you've seen success or you know somebody who has in somebody you want to build or be an advocate for. So there's a lot more definitions and, and clarification we can give in that, yet in finding the advocates is clarifying who really knows the most or that has the most value in around your business. That would be possible of friends, satisfied clients, previous employees. There are all kinds of different options relative to your business, especially satisfied clients and what we call your sphere of influence. And some not everyone will have previous employees. The other aspect is it's always about making connections. I always love all her fun graphics here. Um, <laughs> uh, not just those you do business with. So there is possibility that advocates won't do business with you directly, yet they are still somebody that can truly be an advocate for you. And I love the advocate around the world visual that Ms. Haley also created for our slides is it doesn't matter in what location, a lot of people will come into your brand new business and say, I'm, I'm brand new to the city or state or community, and I don't know anyone in this specific area. There are people that do know people in the area you're in, and there's an opportunity for you to ask them to be an advocate and have somebody in that location introduce you to somebody in the current location you're in, which we've had happen multitude of times. This is a ridiculously simple helicopter view of building advocates. So, we also have a tool called the Advocate Spreadsheet, and that is the link that Haley, we use it in a multitude of resources. It's free to download on our website, and that is the website you will find it at. And then I'm gonna click out of this, and I'm going to stop share, or actually I'm gonna go into the link that you just put in and click on this link. And this is what this actually looks like in a, a Google document. Uh, and you may, now some people prefer just to, print this off and fill it in. Some people are able to actually do a PDF fillable. You just need to make sure you save the document so that when you're using it, we found a lot of people get frustrated with our PDF fillables when they go to put something in and forget to save it. Um, and so if you'll notice, the other thing I wanna show you in this document that's a really powerful awareness, I'm gonna blow this up so you can see it a little bit better. So this is an awareness of you're not only sourcing who the person is, but you're verifying their source. Where did you find them from? Is it a BNI group? Is it a chamber group? Is it a past client? Do you have language or, or terminology you use in the sources? When's the last time you contacted them? When's the last referral date? And in this, any specific notes you want to remember about that? What's your next action? Is it a call? Is it a text? Is it a meeting? And you can use options for that. You're going to verify when you last 
Now, some people will actually track by how many referrals they've received and how many they've given out. Some will track by, uh, and again, over here in the days, but everybody can create this document to be whatever way they want to use it. This is a tool we use regularly and we are big advocates of, ironically, being our advocate spreadsheet. <laughs> All right, uh, it's a relatively simple process. I'm gonna stop share for a minute and I'm gonna open it up. Uh, Ms. Haley, anything you wanna add in the uh, logistics part of it? Um, no, uh, well, I guess uh, if you have any trouble filling out that spreadsheet and you wanted to um, reach out to us about that, please go ahead and email me, Haley at One Light Ahead. Um, but there, there's just some saving ways that you can save it to your drive, um, might make it a little bit easier to fill in the information. Other than that, I don't have anything to add. And the logistics, awesome. <laughs> well, and, and that's an important thing because we've had feedback on people having challenges with that. So yeah. that was very wise. So at the end of the day, advocates, we have confirmed, as we mentioned in our last week's uh, session, at, at the end of the day, all of our business ultimately comes from advocates. And this is why we're a huge um, advocate of the advocate spreadsheet. Even though we may have been referred into a BNI group or introduced into a person from that, those additional businesses come from the person that gave us the trust and credibility to come into that community. And so that warm relationships is what those advocate things are called, advocate connections are called. They, they build that trust and reliability as an immediate opportunity to open the doors. Questions, thoughts, as we open it up either around the same subject or uh, and any other question you'd like to ask. And Steve, you're unmuted. So did you wanna go first? Uh, sure, no, I don't have any questions. You're like, oh, that's a pretty simple document, right? <laughs> that's pretty straightforward, yes. And and no specific questions for the Q&A today in regards to that or any others? Um, no, not at this moment. Um, I keep comp comp contemplating in the back of my head the CRM conversation we've had several times. This conversation just breeds that conversation. So that's where I'm at. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Uh, so, Steve, may I put that in a form of a question? <laughs> I, I appreciate your honesty. Or, uh, uh, I thank you for, <laughs> I love the way you answered that, by the way. Uh, so, it was evident your brain was going somewhere. So, it was, it was very helpful to see where your brain was going. And that's why you're like, yeah, no, we're not going to that question. <laughs> Uh, the gift is the opportunity is what is another way to store advocates, if I'm hearing you correctly, is in the CRM program and the tools that you have in the CRM program. It is for me. It's just got to be it's got to be something. Uh, the advocate spreadsheet is incredibly simple, but I'm not doing it. Um, and I, I, I have to be able to figure out a way to implement that in a system that also gives me one other key um, attribute, and that's to be able to provide those next steps, not just from a, a man, uh, manual written input, but uh, from a process that's put in place that generates uh, a next step with an email alarm, something, and the fun part about it, Steve is, um, and your hand has half your face covered, so I just make sure that you have some awareness that we've got. Exactly. Oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the joy of uh, being on the road, right? Uh, oh, and, yeah. Well, and Steve, it, a couple things you just said, and then I'll open up Mr. Steven, um, is the, the gift of some automation would be also valuable is what I'm hearing in having some, uh, having a tool that not only helps manage it because you know the value of the tool. Now I'd like to not only use the simplicity of it yet, I'd like to set up some automation to it as well. And then, definitely, you know, I mean, uh, I use QuickBooks and for me to be able to close a QuickBooks uh, invoice and use that trigger to generate, uh, you know, three or four next steps in that process would be huge. And especially, you know, uh, I'm getting really busy, you know, and, and that's a good thing. And it's based on, you know, these valuable tools, but um, I have to scale this somehow uh, to match the investment time and, and uh, 
and uh, reaping the reward for it. Love the awareness and I love the opportunity there. And it's worth the time to determine or and delegate it out to somebody that could set it up and structure it for you. And we have to have, I was thinking we might want to have our newest contract, uh, our newest vendor relationship be a special guest on our show or on our Q&A to have some input and some to- simple tools because we are setting up a lot of that process now. Great. Uh, and uh, I and think we that- had similar resistance that I that I'm sensing on Steve's end. You know, we had that same because it's it seems like such a big mountain. So having that resource, you know, the the resource that we found come in and just alleviate the stress of like, okay, it's doable and it's actually going to help you was super huge for us. And I think it helped us to get over that. I'm all ears. <laughs> but- <laughs> And there's a couple of things, Steve. I'm also going to send you um, an assessment tool um, to walk you through um, the mindset shift there, uh, because I think we've got um, some new tools for that to, to walk you through a couple of things when, when we get a time to have some conversation around that. Uh, and yet, I think, well, Haley and I'll talk about getting uh, another individual to help maybe create some opportunities to help teach people how we could set up that a little bit simpler. Because, I mean, immediately Zapier is one of the things that we use that has, it tells a one program to do something when this another program does it and one of our teams just used it to save us a challenge <laughs> and uh, and it automated a, a structure and that alleviated them having to come into my email box every week um so that was a simple little tool that they could have used and so um that is one of the tools that you could and, and maybe that's one of the things we'll set up a time to get him to help with that yeah love that awesome thank you for asking See, there was a question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your input, though. It's very valuable. Everyone else is having that same, and, and we went through some of the same journey. So, Mr. DeSena. Right. You're like, no, no questions, no thoughts. Yeah, all the stuff I know. To- well, advocate, interestingly enough, um, we, uh, over this last week, my wife and I talked a lot about a lot of about a lot of different things and one of them was advocates and so one of the the items that we kind of settled on was uh doing for real estate i I used to give a you know a big welcome package or you know whenever you sell a house or something but when you're new to a community it's hard to find you know where to go you know where where's a a safe reliable place i can get my car worked on um, you know, there's all those different things. And so I'm putting together a list of vendors and then I'm going to go get, I will get, uh, like my buddy has an auto shop and it, with auto shops, it's like, if they can get your car in there to do an oil change, then they do a diagnostic on the whole car and you come out paying five grand, you know, for a $29 oil change. Um, but you know, getting vendors such as that, uh, that people can go to. Uh, and so that's, I'm putting that together. I I've got the list partially done, but, uh, I'll be contacting them over the course of the next week, getting that rolled out and, 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 me, and in doing that, I'm also creating advocates and, uh, you know, business to business connections. Business to business connections are a wonderful opportunity. And one of the questions I left, I added in the possibility Monday is the opportunity that when you connect with one of your business to businesses or your current clients or whoever it is, your opportunity to say, you know, I, I'm sure we might be able to refer you this person, by the way, who would you want to introduce us to? So who would you want us to introduce you to of our clientele? So what is the ideal client? So you said a lube oil and filter may end up with them $5,000 out the door. I'm not sure we'd want to start with that conversation. Yeah, the opportunity is to clarify that, okay, so we've got people. I mean, one of the things I was mentioning to a group yesterday is anyone listening that is familiar with Texas and registration and driver's license is a whole nother conversation in Texas. It's just an, an understatement. And nobody had any input of what to do or how to do anything differently at, the, at a table of six in Texas. And I was like, how interesting that not one person had anything come to mind 
about what would be another way of addressing something like this. Well, it's government, so that's a whole other conversation. Yes, <laughs> the, the awareness is we each have. So Stephen, when you have a friend that is asking for a mechanic, you already have somebody on that list. Right. And when you have somebody that's looking for a chiropractor, you already have somebody on that list. Of course. And those are the things that are an automatic. But when you pick up the phone and say, hey, I'd love to add you to this list. We're going to obviously have people that are going to be interested. Is there anyone already on this list you would want an introduction to that we already know? And by the way, who would you want to include in this as the people that we, re we rely on? That would be another introduction for you. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So now I'm being playful. And uh, we have all kinds of different options. Is there anything else that in any other conversation or question that we can help you with today? We're a focused individual, Ms. Haley. Well, not on a different topic, um, but on this topic, something that really stuck out to me um, when you were going over the presentation, when you're building advocates, you don't not just like, you don't just want to focus on the people that you're directly doing business with, like you were just saying. So you want to be kind of all things to all people. Um, I recently had an interaction with somebody in our BNI group who um, does insurance, but he said he spent like the majority of the time meeting with me, just communicating that he just wants to be a resource. Even if I don't have anything to do with what he's selling insurance wise, he knew that I was new to the area. He has a lot of connections and he's like, I just want to open myself up to you to be available. You know, if you need this or this or this, like he started listing endless connections that he had that had nothing to do with insurance, but I would, I so appreciated that. And that's actually something that I think April does as well. So well is she has all of these connections from all of her experience. And she's brilliant at, at making those connections from one person to another and saying, Hey, I think you would really benefit from getting to know this person. And that builds her, um, what are they, the Rolodex, right? Mm -hmm. So that builds your, your pool of people that you get to connect with, whether that has to do with actually like directly giving you, you know, more business or not. I think it's just a, a really smart way to build authentic, organic connection and then it makes it that much easier when someone does have a need that you can provide like a solution for it, that the, the ground is the foundation's already laid. And then you can slide into those conversations a lot easier. The trust is already there. You've already kind of built that rapport with them. You know, um, it's kind of like the best case scenario. So I, I really believe in this. Isn't it a good thing we all do? <laughs> yeah. So the gift of moving forward, and it sounds like uh, being the fact that it's a holiday and that you all uh, are still working on a holiday, uh, I want to celebrate the fact that we're all here, but also give you back time to your day unless there's any other questions. I just sent out an email to another one of our BNI members and introduced her to another vendor and another state because of an opportunity for them to connect and share business. So it does happen and it's easy to do. The only thing I would add is it takes a conscious effort. I mean, the pieces mm -hmm. and parts are there, but it takes a conscious effort. And and again, going back to habits, growing good habits, you know, it is beneficial, but it's a mindset too, to, to get yourself to, you know, I mean, it's so easy when you're going out and you're walking around and you're working and you got your head down. I mean, it's just so easy to, to you know, work inside your bubble, but it's a different story, you know, it's, it opens up so many opportunities if you're just, your heads up and you're engaging people and watching and, and putting yourself out there from that standpoint, the, the difference is amazing. The conversations that happen, the stuff you learn about people that you see that you never would have picked up just by uh, opening your yourself up to a conversation. And uh, easier said than done sometimes, but um, usually well worth it. And, and Steve, you bring up a great point. One of the biggest challenges of every business owner is, especially if you're the only person in the business at the moment, you're running all the bases as we talked about and or you're covering CEO to janitor, right? And so sometimes as Steve, you're talking about, sometimes the sales person, the sales manager, the advocate builder, the advocate relationship has gets to be in their role. And then you've also got the 
the, the computer technician that gets to be in their role and delivering on the service. And each time you're present in each role, you get to be fully present. And that's one of the challenges because Steve, as you're talking about, when you're busy taking care of and serving all the time, you're not always having those moments of systems development or structure development or relationship building. And they, they get to go on items on your schedule for specific times where you're holding that certain role and you're being fully present in that role. And that is the joy of, and as we work to scale and document and do all the things that we get to do, we are also discovering what systems and structures can we put in place so that we can alleviate uh, the questions of how we can be more purposeful in each stage of the game and how we set the next person up for success in that so it doesn't all rely on us. And you've done this already. So it's just an opportunity of pulling that out and saying, okay, how do I put that back into place and then determine how I want to set up that structure and scheduling, right? You're like, yep, know all about that. <laughs> all right, everybody, any other questions? Any other thoughts? Go enjoy a beautiful holiday and we will see you next week and we will have another unique and fun subject we get to do. <laughs> so have a great day, everyone. Bye, everyone. Take Bye. care, everybody. Thanks.